Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I will be presenting aspects of my dissertation. And the topic of my dissertation is an, an evaluation of the competency-based education and training Commission Level 2 program in four human employment and resource training institutions in Jamaica. The outline of the presentation is as follows. I'll start with the introduction and will end with recommendations. In many developing countries, for example, Jamaica, youths are prepared for the workforce, making TVET a primary part of the educational agenda. Heart Trust has over 126 institutions offering in excess of 488 programs. One such is the Commichef Level 2 program, which is designed to train chefs who will be NVQJ certified for the tourism sector. Based on the Heart Survey 2019, the demand for the commercial food preparation program is ranked number one. The problem is that some employers have expressed that they were unable to find Commichef Level 2 graduates with adequate technical and employability skills. In addition, some stakeholders had concerns about some of the newer units added to the NVQ plan and the competence of facilitators to teach these new units and the lack of adequate resources. So it is against this background that a formal evaluation was conducted on this program with a view to addressing the concerns. The main purpose of this exploratory mixed method, sequential mixed method study was to use the context input process and product model to evaluate the curriculum offered by four heart trust institutions located in four regions across Jamaica. The SIP model, which was designed by Stoffel Beam, was the conceptual framework that was used. Finch and Kroegelton, two authorities in TVET, described SIP as the best model to evaluate TVET programs. And the aim of the SIP evaluation is not to prove anything about a program, but to improve programs. Four research questions. I chose four research questions for this presentation this morning, and they span the four phases of the model. The nature of this study dictated the use of hypothesis testing. Five hypotheses were examined, which span the four phases of the SIP model, but in the interest of time, the focus is on one. The study was delimited to the Commissioner Level 2 program at four institutions in Heart prior to the administrative merger with the National Youth Service, the Jamaica Foundation for Lifelong Learning, and the Apprenticeship Board in 2019. No research is free from limitations. The research was conducted when the COVID-19 pandemic began. The containment measures that were introduced affected a number of establishments within the hospitality industry. The participation rates of graduates and employee, employers were impacted, hence the graduation time was extended from five to ten years for the graduates. There was a limited literature on program evaluation in TVET and outdated academic literature on, on the NVQ. For the literature review, it is um, structured under the four phases of the SIP model. CBET is an instructional methodology used in the delivery of TVET based on industry-generated standards. Focus on knowledge, skills, and attitudes which are specified to direct the learners to achieve competence. In the Caribbean, stakeholders are of the view that CBET can reduce the gap between labor market and education. And CBET is employed globally, it is used globally to prepare work-ready graduates. The success of CBET programs depend on adequate and available resources. One scholar says that money, man, and material must be present. A study that was conducted in Saudi Arabia, the findings that some barriers to achieving the success of the program were inadequate teaching and learning resources, tools and equipment, library, and other facilities. Studies have shown that pedagogical skills are necessary for effective delivery of CBET. The success of any CBET program lies squarely on the shoulders of teachers. The teachers must obtain theoretical and practical skills fundamental to CBET programs. Increasingly, employability skills are being emphasized. Employability skills Employers do not only require technical skills, but all industries now they require employability skills. And many graduates lack employability skills based on a number of research literature that were reviewed. Employers 
prefer to employ graduates who display critical employability skills and technical skills. And Rao 2014 says that you recruit for attitude and train for skills. A study that was conducted in Malaysia found that poor communication skills and attitudes are some of the weaknesses of Malaysian graduates. So in summary, the review of the existing literature shows that there are numerous articles on TVET and the CBET globally, including Jamaica. There was limited literature on program evaluation with the SIP model in the Caribbean, including Jamaica. And there was a limited literature on the use of mixed methods in TVET program evaluation in the Caribbean. The exploratory sequential mixed methods design was used. In phase one, the aim of the qualitative strand preceded the quantitative, and that was done for the administrators to provide rich information that could not be obtained using each method alone. Themes were used to drive the development of the instrument for the quantitative phase to further explore the phenomenon. The four sites that were purposefully, sele four sites were purposefully selected because they offer the Commichef level two program. Pseudonyms were used to protect their identity, and these pseudonyms will be used for the rest of my presentation. The four sites are in four of the six regions in heart, spanning rural and urban locations. And all four sites have been offering the program for over 20 years. The population was 2,736. Participants for the qualitative phase were purposefully selected based on their depth of understanding and experience needed to provide detailed and rich information about the program. The researcher expanded through the second phase from a larger number of participants with the intention to expand understanding of the phenomenon. For the phase two, stratified random selection was done by sites for trainees, graduates, facilitators, and employers. But after the pandemic, I had to switch to convenient sampling for graduates and employers. The data collection was informed by the research design, a comprehensive evaluation of this nature, warrants different sources of data collection, which is necessary for triangulation. In order to increase credibility and validity of findings, the following were triangulated interviews and questionnaires, questionnaires and field notes, for member check-in in order to minimize any personal bias, the researcher provided the transcripts to all the administrators who were interviewed to verify the accuracy of their responses. Cronbach Alpha method was used in estimating the reliability of the questionnaires. And based on the, what you see there in terms of 0 0.96, it is telling you that the co acceptable reliability coefficient was 0 0.8 and above. So the instruments were pretty reliable. The data analysis, there were, for the qualitative phase, there were transcribed, coded, sorted, reviewed for emerging themes, and the findings were presented based on the SIP framework. For the quantitative phase, the questionnaires were coded and entered into SPSS. Uh, for these four research questions, descriptive statistics was used for research question nine, inferential statistics for research questions one and three, findings were presented based on the SIP model. Research question three, was purely qualitative. It is evident that observing ethical issues and political considerations are critical. So ethical approval was granted by the University of Technology Ethics Committee. Permission was obtained from the then manager of the director of the Heart Trust. To ensure anonymity, pseudonyms were used for the administrators and all the names were, were, we used, were, they were anonymous in terms of the administrators and the institutions. And the, infident, the information was kept in a confidential manner. For the results and discussion, the overall response rate was 67%, which according to Bobby, is considered good. And the pandemic, as I said, affected the response in terms of graduates and employers. The participants were predominantly females, showing 68%, 68.1%. percent 57.6% of the respondents were 25 years and below, and these were trainees and graduates. For the qualification of trainees and graduates, 54.6% had CSEC passes. 
Majority of the trainees resided in the county of Surrey because two of the institutions, they're located in that county. The facilitators, they're qualified with 40% bachelor's and other qualifications and 20% masters. And five of the 12 had 10 to 19 years teaching experience. The employers who participated operated restaurants, resorts, and other establishments. Most of the establishments were located in Kingston. And you can see based on the employment, some of the employers employed fewer than 10, some employed fewer than 41. For the Research question one, for the qualitative phase, one theme emerged, stakeholders' awareness of learning outcomes. These two quotes support the theme from Ann and D. For the quantitative phase, hypothesis one was tested. The null hypothesis was rejected. The graduates were more confident in their awareness of the learning outcomes than the trainees. There was nothing identified in the literature to support research findings for how to inform and how to inform stakeholders of the learning outcomes for CBET programs. For research question two, under the input phase, two themes emerge from the qualitative phase. <coughs> Alignment of CBET curriculum and NVQ, and CBET allows trainees to acquire employable skills for the industry. And the voices of Anne, Bob, and Anne came out for these two themes. The findings were supported by Tanya 2016 that the curriculum is aligned to the NVQ and is accepted by literature, by industry, and the NVQ is industry determined, hence they meet the needs of employers, graduates, and they align with the curriculum. For research question three under the process phase, two themes emerged. One, teacher competence, passion, motivation, and creativity. And the second theme, teacher pedagogy. And unexpounded somewhat on this theme and, and stated that where facilitators were trained and their, in, and their experience impacts delivery. And uncited facilitators who were trained at UTEC as against UWE in engineering. What unstated was that the UWE instructors, they come with more theoretical knowledge than technical as against the UTEC um, facilitators. Also, they mentioned that Teachers who are trained at the teachers' colleges, when they come in, they come with the pedagogical skills, but they lack the technical skills. And CBET is 70-40. And then again, you have some of the facilitators who have a wealth of industry knowledge, but they lack pedagogical skills. The findings of this study were consistent with these researchers, that competence of TV teachers impacts students' achievement. Intrinsic motivation and creativity are critical to TVET program delivery, and remuneration and incentives help to fuel passion. Also, acquisition of skills and attitudes of graduates hinge on competent and pedagogically trained teachers. And the last research question, only qualitative data was used, only quali quantitative data was used to collect data for research question four. The competencies are on the left, it's a bit small, and they're abbreviated. The trainees were not included since they were still in training and might not have made a fair and objective assessment of the job competencies. Data set were analyzed using percentages. The facilitators disagreed that the competencies were ach achieved by the graduates in six areas but that did not show for the graduates and employers. The graduates and employers mentioned that they achieved all the competencies. There was no literature to support this finding. In conclusion, I will end with the strengths and weaknesses of the program. Under the context phase, the, one of the strength is that stakeholders are aware of the learning outcomes of the program. One of the weaknesses is that no proper structure for the dissemination of learning outcomes, especially for trainees and facilitators are in place. On the input, there's at the strength, 
There's an alignment of the curriculum with the NVQ, and the facilitators have positive perception of the program. The weakness, the NVQ challenges facilitators' pedagogical skills, and there's difficulty in using NVQ for delivery by itself. Under the process phase, the program has the strength, the program has qualified and competent instructors, weaknesses, some trainees and facilitators are displeased with the mixability of some trainees in class. And some trainees are disgruntled with how the employability skills units are taught and limited ICT integration in lessons. And lastly, under the product phase, strength, excellent technical skills by the graduates, Weaknesses, graduates' attitude are poor as they lack some of the necessary employability skills. And the recommendations is that for context, that administrators should ensure that learning outcomes are better known to all stakeholders, especially the trainees. On the input, need to organize capacity building workshops to address facilitators' challenges with the NVQ. Under the process phase, we still need to organize capacity building workshops to address facilitators' mixed ability challenges, self-paced learning, employability, and pedagogical skills. And just to say that when you have what they explained, I should have said that earlier in, in the finding, but I can say here in the recommendation that when you have a, a set of students in one class, some coming with industry experience, some coming straight with CSEC, some coming with just passing the entrance exam, and you have all of those students in one class. It's a challenge. That is why there needs to be capacity building workshop to deal with mixability challenges. And lastly, on the product evaluation, we need to address technical and employability skills that graduates are weak in. These are the references that were used. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.